We're students from the University of Southern California. We proposed this idea. We thought it'd be a great idea to implement AEDs or uh, automatic external defibrillators in all public uh, state high schools in California. USC Dornsife College is a research component of the university and their research is very heavily weighted. In political science, what we don't do that often is the pragmatic politics side of it. So one of the, the main things of this class was to allow students to have the experience of researching for the very pragmatic use in the political arena itself. The goal of the class was for the students to actually learn by doing, where they put together a piece of legislation, introduce it, and run it. Also to meet and develop relationships with people who are involved in public policy and the creating of public policy. The first week, they told us we all had to just come up with ideas for things that we wanted to submit to the California legislature to become a law. They came up with a bill which eventually became SB 63. The bill is supposed to mandate that all public high schools in California have an automatic external defibrillator. An AED, it's basically designed to help restart the heart in case it stops feeding. So the first step was to go about drafting the bill. They worked on that with the assistance of the state legislature office. We all flew to Sacramento from LAX and we went into the Capitol building, met up with the people who were helping us. You guys will have to lobby Garrett to try and get the governor to be for it. So after he spent few minutes giving you his spiel. Um, if I were one of you, I would be trying to lobby him. And we all set up our game plan. We went to the committee. And we had our hearing. I think our class did a great job in presenting our bill, but after going through the education committee, we decided to change it on the floor because the state budget couldn't support it. Right now, it's an intent bill that will require schools to accept AEDs or donations for them if state and government funds aren't expended. We had more meetings all day. The chief of staff for the governor came and talked to us. They all helped clarify what would happen to the bill. This is something that really can work for us and we're willing to support. And we hope that we can move everybody to this because I think with all of our school districts and their risk pools, uh, this is something good. The students themselves made value judgments and took amendments and negotiated their way to get the bill this far. And I think they did such an excellent job I was really pleasantly surprised. These students were dedicated. They learned how to research, how to write in a professional manner. As a freshman, it's amazing that we were given that opportunity so early in our college careers. Being able to do all this and go to Sacramento, I think it was just an amazing opportunity. Taking class time to have students actually work on a very pragmatic project is a very useful endeavor.